And welcome to the news at five across the nation and at Idaho's capital today rallies to highlight what people suffering from chronic pain call the other side of the opi opioid crisis. KTVB's Shira Matsuzawa went to the rally in Boise and joins us in studio to tell us more about it. Shira. And Brian, those rallies are called Don't Punish Pain Rallies, and they're organized by grassroots groups on Facebook. Now, the people behind the rally say they suffer from chronic pain and that they need their medications, but regulations on prescription painkillers are making getting those prescriptions hard, and it's hurting them. Here in Boise, about 20 people gathered at the State House for today's rally. Signs and two empty chairs stood tall on the steps of the Capitol. The chairs represented people with chronic pain who were not able to attend because of the pain or because they passed away. Sam Fleener is a chronic pain advocate as well as someone who suffers from chronic pain herself. She tells us much of the public believes the opioid crisis is driven by prescription pain pills. But in reality, she says, when you look at the statistics, excuse me, the op opioid crisis or overdose crisis is actually from heroin and fentanyl. The chronic pain patients that are on prescription pain medications that have been on steady doses for years under a doctor's advice have not been the ones that have been, been overdosing. And these people are people that um, need these pain medications to be able to function, to be able to work, to be able to interact in their lives. Sam tells us that what she wants to see, see being done by legislature is for them to be aware of what is happening. She also says she wants legislature to protect pain patients so they're not fearful of having their lives taken away. Brian? Yeah, in this day and age when we want to crack down on those people mm -hmm. abusing it or even this epidemic, it's worth remembering that those people actually do need some painkillers. Thanks, Thanks Shira. So